Hey folks, so I was asked to do a quick tutorial on the installation of the DeepMS Gen 2 charging handle. Uh, so that's it here. Uh, the first step will be to clear your firearm. Uh, that will be indicated that with the yellow chamber flag here. Second step is to separate the upper receiver from the lower receiver. Here's the upper. Now we got to remove the bolt carrier group along with the charging handle. So I've already installed this onto my rifle. I've already made the necessary adjustments to make it fit. I'll be simulating the two problems that you'll be encountering during the installation process. Something you'll immediately notice is your new charging handle will not latch. We'll take care of that in the first step of the mod. We're gonna have to file down this part of the charging handle. I'm gonna take it out and demonstrate. With a file or a drill or a Dremel, you'll be pushing back the material on the charging handle here until it interfaces correctly with the upper receiver and the charging handle latches. This is the part of the upper receiver that we're trying to get the charging handle to interface with. Once we have enough material taken off, it will then latch. You'll notice that when you put the bolt carrier group back in, it will not fully seat. We're gonna resolve that with this final step of the mod. In this step, you're going to take your file or your Dremel, and you're going to take off material off of the front of the charging handle here. What you're trying to do is to have the charging handle interface with the bolt carrier group, but push it back a bit so that there's enough space for the bolt carrier group and the bolt to lock. Once you've removed enough material from the front of the charging handle, you'll finally be able to push the bolt carrier group back into place so that the bolt fully locks. Remember, hand fitting is very important during the installation process. Anytime you're taking off a little bit of material from the charging handle, you should be putting it back into the rifle to test its fit and function. That's it for me. Hope that helps.